Hey now, Steve Seavers for Bonic Buzz. I am proud to say it's been a year, over a year, a couple weeks since the last time I've covered a red carpet. And here I am at the world premiere of Melt On This here at Deezer Land, Orlando. This amazing action theme park. It's got bowling, go-karts, arcade games, and it's also put on by I Touch Orlando. We got Orlando Brewing Company in the house giving out some samples of their amazing beer. Mm -mm -mm. Not only is the world premiere, they have um, all these performers here tonight. There's also this amazing photo booth. It's called CFL 360 photo booth. And you can see, they, I don't know how they do it, but it's just a spinning around 360 thing. I'm so excited to be talking to the cast and crew and some special guests. So let's go see who we can talk to. First off, congratulations. What an amazing night here tonight. Tell us the inspiration for this movie. Thank you so much. The inspiration to this movie was the struggle in Central Florida. Many artists, actors, musicians, everything else are struggling. Why? Because we need more of an environment for the entertainment industry. I know Disney is here, you know that Universal is here, but what about the rest of us? Like the rest of us audition for all these things and all we get is commercials. Can we get some film and TV in Central Florida? So this whole movie is an activist movement. It's just supposed to showcase six different actresses struggling in Central Florida and how they get desperate enough because they're getting older in age. Well, some of them, two of them are really young, but they just go with the movement. And it's all about how they decide to make their own movie out of desperation. It's a comedy. It showcases how low budget films are no fun, how we need more money in Central Florida so that we can make amazing movies Maybe make some action movies. I would love to blow some stuff up. Like the Bond Lounge is right there. I would love to take that thing and just blow up some cars. Wouldn't oh, that be absolutely. fun? I love all the cars you see uh, in the trailer for this. Did you actually get to drive any in the movie? So we did get to drive them very little though, not a lot. And um, that was part of COVID. The COVID situation caused us not to be able to do it. It was supposed to be a comedy like Fast and Furious. Yeah. And due to COVID, we couldn't close down the streets and do the whole thing that we wanted to do. So in the end, we made like fun of not being able to drive the car. So I hope you guys enjoy oh. what we were able to create out of the situation. But I think it turned out great. I love it. And you're also doing a, a charity here for this. Uh, the whole cast got to sign posters. What charities are you working for tonight? So tonight we are doing charity for Sunshine Foundation as well as One Heart for Families, which I think is amazing. I think that any, any charity that helps families improve is a wonderful thing. I've been a victim of situations in families because I'm a female and I, I was so grateful to get help from community and I think that those two foundations take care of that and I love it. This is amazing. How'd you get working with Deezerland here in Orlando? This place is awesome. So Deezerland came across from someone who came to three of my events, which is Brian Price. Brian Price has been a photographer in Central Florida for over 25 years. Wow. And he has been amazing and helpful in connecting individuals who want to do entertainment industries. And so I, you know, he connected me with someone, that someone connected me to someone else, and in the end, here we are. This is amazing. iTouch is helping out here. You got Orlando Brewery. He's giving up free drinks, right? Oh, we have free beer going on. We also have hors d'oeuvres on the other side. We have the first performance starting right now. I'm so excited. Nina Diva is starting to perform. Look at her. She's about to rock it out. We have seven different performers tonight. I hope you guys can come out or at least watch it later. Thank you so much. I appreciate yeah, it. Lastly, where can people watch this? Is it the premiere? Is it going to be online? So this movie premiere is happening here, but we also have it on Vimeo. So you can look up Melt on This on Vimeo and pay per click. And anytime you are paying per click, guess what? You're helping all the entertainment industry people who are here tonight because they all own a percentage of this movie. So thank you so much. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations for all this hard work together. This is amazing. Thank you. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you for helping us out. Get the word out. We need more millionaires and billionaires to help us out. We could really use some work around here. I love it. Yeah, let's make it happen. All right, dude, how does it feel, man, to be here? I mean, this is an amazing premiere. Yeah, man, it's, a, it's the culmination of a long, hard work. So we are here. It's been uh, over a year, and uh, it was a lot of hard work, and I can't believe we are here. So here at Bionic Buzz, we're all about people's passion. Where did your passion to be a filmmaker, producer, storyteller kind of come from? I am a professional stand-up comedian. So I've been doing stand-up comedy for 20 plus years. Nice. So uh, that's where my writing and uh, creating characters and uh, you know, making people laugh. So wow. 
that's well, where it comes from. If you didn't have the passion, you wouldn't follow through with this journey. Come me through this. When did this movie like start getting writing and actually shooting and stuff? Because you shot actually during the pandemic, right? Yeah, just before. Uh, so when the pandemic hit, like on March 15th, mm -hmm. that's when the uh, there was a lockdown in Orlando. So that's when uh, I decided to write the movie. So when it was locked down, so I wrote the movie in three weeks. Wow. And awesome. then uh, once the pandemic, like when the lockdown was out, so we started slowly filming the movie. So we filmed in like 21, 22 days. And uh, it was hard with pandemic, right? So we had to adapt to the actors because some of the actors couldn't make it. And uh, so, yeah, we followed through all the uh, pandemic, you know, social distancing and we made it happen. That's amazing. A year later, here it is. That's, yeah, that's pretty that's quick for the, a filmmaker. Definitely, yeah. And we had no, none of us have any experience actually making it. And we are, you have to, it, the passion will carry you through. You cannot think about money or fame or anything because it's a lot of hard work. So that's what needs to push you through. Not like, that's why you're doing it. Not, that is the end goal, to get it over the goal line. I love it. Let's talk about the story for this, because I think it's very inspiring for anyone out there. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the story is about six struggling actresses uh, who are trying to make it big in the movie and they kept re getting rejected. You came from it, like, you know how hard yeah. it is to make it into a movie business. So these girls decide to make their own movie. And this is the trials and tribulations of their journey into making the movie. You know, how they, you know, their struggles. And in a way, it's my story because I've been doing stand-up for like 20 plus years and I've been decent. But this is my struggle and the roadblocks I've come through. So it's my voice to the beautiful girls of the six girls. So it's their journey, my journey combined in real life to make it uh, this uh, melt on this. So the movie's premiering here today. Where is it going to be available for anyone yeah, else? So uh, you can watch it on Vimeo. So we will first release on Vimeo and then uh, later on on a different platforms. And you're already working on a sequel, I heard, right? Uh, yes, we are. So, uh, you know, it's a, it'll come out. So oh, wow. yeah, but first watch this one. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. And we, I want to follow your journey going forward. Where can we do that on social media? Yeah, social media. Follow us on Melt on This. So there's social media Melt on This on Instagram, Facebook, and also you can follow me in Naresh Adurti. So I'm a stand-up comedian. So Naresh Adurti comedian or Naresh Adurti. Oh, so you're doing stand-up sometimes. Yeah, you man. Got anything coming up? Or? Uh, yeah, it's always something coming up locally. Yeah. But yeah, but and also teach stand-up comedy as well. So if you want to take stand-up comedy class. And that's how it came about. The executive producer was my student. Oh. She asked me to be part of the journey because she was my student. I love it. So inspiring. Such a pleasure to meet you, man. Congratulations Thanks, on the man. whole movie, Thank man. You. Take care. And who do you play in Mel Melt on This? My character's name is Natasha. Very nice. How is your how are your new character similar in real life? Um, both my character and I were aspiring actresses. We wanted like just step out on faith and like follow our guts and our crazy friends' ideas to just make a movie on our own, like literally art imitating life, guys. Like, it's exactly like the movie, making a movie within a movie happening is like this weird parallel. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you literally. I love it. Well, here at Bonic Buzz, we're all about people's passion. Where'd your passion for being an actor, actress kind of come from? A certain performance inspired it? Or something that was naturally for you as a child? Yeah, I feel like as a child, I always felt like I'd be an actress because like I'm a dramatic water sign and like I just love drama. I did theater like when I was in school and, and things and I just been always attracted to the arts and entertainment, whether it was in, uh, fashion, I, I helped with wardrobe on the on the film also. So like I just love entertainment and I love the arts. Like I wouldn't have it any other way. Like did you get to drive the fancy cars in the movie at all? Um we kind of drove them but not really <laughs> but maybe a little bit. Like we like I kinda like hit the clutch a little bit and maybe didn't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, well, I want to follow your journey going forward. Where can we do it on social media? Absolutely. Like, you can hit up my Instagram is at I am she underscore R R E L L E. So it's literally I am Sherelle with a little underscore, but I am she. So. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, they're all the same handles all the way across the board. Right, congratulations on the movie, thank you so much. Hi. And who do you play in the movie? I play a character named Blair. And how are you and Blair similar in real life? Yeah. Um, well, you know, I feel like Blair and I are both testing out the dating world, you know? <laughs> after, after being out of it for a while, you know? And um, I like Blair. I, I need to take some lessons from Blair because she is doing what guys do oh, yeah. and they call it dating. Yeah. But when girls do it, you know, sometimes people call us bad names, you know. I love it. So I love that she's bold, she doesn't apologize, you know. Um, so I, I don't know that we're alike in that way, but I 
I appreciate her and I admire her for that. So it was super, it was super fun to play her. Well, here at Bonic Buzz, we're all about people's passion. Where did your passion for being an actress kind of come from? A certain performance inspired it or something that was naturally for you as a child? Oh my gosh. It definitely started out when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, so I didn't act on it until early 20s. I did some fitness modeling and some, some acting in my early 20s. And then I had my family, got out of it for a while, and came back to it. But from the time I was little, I always knew that it's what I wanted to do for sure. Yeah. Now, did you actually get to drive any of the fancy cars in this movie at all? Um, you'll have to watch the movie. <laughs> drive. We all drive the cars, but there's a little mishap with the cars. So that's and that's that's a big part of the story. So um, we attempt to drive the cars, <laughs> and we look like we're driving the cars, but you have to see if we actually really do. I love it. All right. I want to follow your journey going forward. Where can we do that on social media? Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Jenny underscore underscore small and on Facebook at Jenny Small. All right, congratulations on the movie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are you and your character have been similar in real life by any chance? Or? I think one of the similarities is that we both are Latinas. But other than that, um, I don't think so. I mean, she is, well, another thing is that she is empowered. She's a woman who knows what she wants. Uh, but at the same time, she it does some strategies to save his her marriage and I don't know if in real life I would I would dare to go so far ah. so so yeah maybe we are very different in, a, in many other ways but well you know it's, it's it's always fun to portray somebody that you're not so that's perfect I mean that's that's why you should call yourself an actor or an actress so so I'm very happy very honored to be part of this movie and this is my first feature film. Oh, congratulations. So, so thank you. Thank you so much. So for me, you know, it's like um, a dream come true. So I'm very happy. Well, I'm interested to know this next question, because here Bonic Buzz, we're all about people's passion. Where did your passion to be an actress kind of come from? This is your first feature film. Was it certain a performance inspired or something that was just natural for you you've had for a long time? Yes, uh, well, let me tell you, since I was a child, I wanted to be an actress. And I never could because my my career went on another path, yeah. uh, journalism. I, I became journalist and for so many years, but that dream always was inside of me. And at some point I said to myself, uh, you know, it's never going to happen because you're doing something completely different. So, yeah. But then, you know, uh, things happen, life changes and turns around. And then I have this opportunity and I was like, okay, you know what? It's never too late. So here I am sharing with you, yeah. partaking with these beautiful people. And you're about to watch this final cut of the movie. And we are so proud of it. I, I hope it's inspiring to someone else. Maybe they've never, they kept pushing off being an actor or actress. Maybe they see your, see your example and they can actually go for it, so. Of course, it's never too late. Um, and, and, and dreams still can come true. I mean, you don't have to be in your 20s just to continue and, and fighting for what you want. And, and here I am, uh, again, I know that there is a long path for me, even though I, I, I've been, I was journalist and I've been journalist for 25 years. But here, this is like a new beginning for me, for Natalia Cruz. And I'm so eager to, to know what's next. Well, I want to follow your amazing journey going forward. Where can we do that on social media? Oh yes, yeah, you can follow me at Natalia Cruz News. I used to work in news, so that's why it's the news. Um, and then you can check it, check it out in Instagram, also in Facebook. I have a fan page, also Natalia Cruz News. So just check it out. I promise you won't be disappointed. <laughs> well, congratulations on the movie. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure, and I hope you like it. I played Chloe in Matt on this. And is there any similarities between you and your character? Um, I would say yeah, she's an exchange student from Hungary and I am also, I was also born and raised in Hungary and I'm also um, experiencing, you know, America from a different continent. So that's definitely um, um, common between she and I and uh, she's this bubbly, like nice girl who I believe most of the time I am like that. <laughs> Very cool. Hopefully. So here Bonic Buzz, we're all about people's passion. Where did your passion to be an actress kind of come from? Is there a performance inspired or something that was just naturally for you? Well, I definitely have passion for comedy. So I am very grateful that I got an opportunity to do a feature film and I got to um, showcase my sense of humor 
because that's what like really drives me to be like uh, be in a sitcom, be like a lead in a sitcom, or to create something funny, entertain people, yeah. make them laugh. Did you get to drive any of the cars in this movie? Oh, driving cars. Uh, yeah. Well, no, unfortunately, due to the COVID and all these restrictions, we didn't get to like actually drive them. But we had some really cool scenes with cars, so oh, yeah, no, it's still it's still trailer. in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to follow your journey going forward. Where can we do that on social media? I'm sorry? Where can we follow you on social media? Uh, I'm on Facebook and on Instagram as well.